Polynomials are a new way of organizing a bunch of equations, or sorry, new way of organizing a bunch of information. It's basically a complicated equation. So what I have up here is the general equation for a polynomial. And it looks pretty daunting, but let's walk through it and sort of talk about what it means. So we basically have a bunch of x's and a bunch of a with these little subscripts, n, n minus 1, and so on. And basically what that is saying is we have x to a power. Whatever that power is, it doesn't matter, but that's a sub n is a subscript that matches with that. So say if this was 3x to the eighth, x to the eighth is the power, and then this 3 is corresponding to a sub 8 because it's the coefficient on the term of the eighth power. Now there's some conditions in what actually makes a polynomial, and I have them written right here. First off, all the a's have to be real numbers. Basically, they have to be numbers that we could put on a number line. They could be fractions. It doesn't really matter as long as they are on the number line, they exist. All the exponents have to be whole numbers. So what that means is, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on and so forth. Even 0 is okay, but they can't be negative, they can't be fractions, anything like that. And lastly, we can't have any variables in the denominator. So we can never divide by x, so on and so forth. Okay? Um, here example is and another example of just a more specific one, getting rid of all the ends and what have you. So this one right here has four terms, okay? All our coefficients are real numbers. All our exponents are, are, are whole numbers as well. This, actually there's a term right here, which is x to the zero. We don't need to write it because anything to the zero is one, so this actually disappears, but it is really there. Okay, so some other lingo that goes along with this is degree. Okay, and degree is how we talk about the powers of a polynomial. And each term has a specific degree, and that's just the power on x. Okay? So this term right here is x to the fourth, so it has a degree 4. x squared, degree 2. x, degree 1. x to 0, degree 0. Okay? So each individual term has a degree, but in addition, the polynomial has a degree as well. And that is just going to be the degree of the highest term. Okay, so this polynomial right here has a degree of 4. Okay, a common mistake is people want to add up all the degrees. So this is a degree of this, this, and this. Add them all together. It's not that complicated. Just look at the term of highest power. In this case, it's 4. That's our degree. Okay, in addition, it tends to be convenient to write our polynomials in what's called descending order, which is basically from highest degree to lowest. So this polynomial is already in descending order because we started at the fourth degree, second, first, zero. If this four we moved out in the front, sorry, if this four actually moved to the front, it wouldn't be descending order anymore because we'd have the first degree before the fourth. So descending order, all our exponents are written down. Okay. In addition, there's a little bit more language that goes along with that. And basically, you can have polynomials of different type. Okay. You can have a polynomial with just a constant. And what that means is we don't have any degrees. Okay, so an example of that would just be f of x is equal to 2. Okay, there's an x to the 0 behind it, but we don't need it because anything to the 0 is 1. So it's just a number. It could be 2, 7, negative 400. It doesn't really matter, just a single term. A linear term is what we dealt with way back when, lines. Okay, there are no powers other than a single x. So an example of that, 3x plus 1. The 3 and the 1 are arbitrary, but we just the main thing is having a single x to the first power, degree 1. Quadratic. Quadratic is a degree 2. Okay? So to have these polynomials, we actually don't need all these terms. So we could just say an example of a quadratic is just x squared. Okay? It's a very simple quadratic. Or we could also say x squared plus 4x minus 2. Doesn't really matter. As long as we have that x squared term and only degrees less than that, it'll be a quadratic. Lastly, cubic. You guessed it. Degree 3 is our highest degree. So let's say negative 4x cubed. And whatever's here doesn't matter as long as the degree is 2, 1, and or 0. Okay.
So general introduction to polynomials, sort of the abstract long equation, and some rules we have and how we talk about them.